La-di-da, la-di-da, la-di-da. Hey, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome to my talk after midnight. You know what, family? Um, right now, things are really interesting when you put it to the test. And I do believe that 2020 on the esoterical level is just coming in so broad and so hard that you have to really, really um, kind of hold on. You have to hold on um, or you'll lose your grip. So I find myself in one of those situations, as a lot of y'all know, I've been estranged from my father for a long time and um, extremely long time. And the circumstances uh, around it, y'all know, just go back and look at some of the prior videos. But what's interesting is I realized through all the religious dogma and all of the um, inhumane things that I think my father exhibited. I had to finally come to grips with, once I started coming to grips with my own behavior and my own um, shortcomings, I had to realize that I was really, really, really raised by, you know, what you call narcissists or some type of personality disorder individual. Okay? Now, that's it's, um, that's just the way it is. That's the dysfunction that is in a lot of our homes. Okay? So now, although my parents were religious, I'm a PK, so I got, a, I got that background and uh, a lot of us do, but it doesn't take away the fact that a lot of things that have happened to us are very dysfunctional. The way we grew up, the way we respond to our parents, the way we communicate with our parents. Um, some of us can't even have a conversation with our parents. A lot of us raise with a black man, sort of like Joe Jackson, where they were more of a dictator and you didn't dare tell them what you didn't like or you didn't tell them what, you just didn't have that type of relationship. All this stuff was before Oprah, I like to call it. I like to say pre-Oprah did. So I realized that. And But with that being said, I also know that through my journey, and getting right here, I, I noticed that there are people who have never had a relationship with their father. There are people who um, for, for lack of a better word never had a father provide for them. So with that being said, I know my daughter is one of them. Although I had a father in my life, she didn't have a father in hers. For whatever reason. With that being said, I've been adjudicated the responsibility of making my father's last days as comfortable as possible because he was in a pretty bad situation and they had to call on me because he needs some type of um, you know, guardianship. Otherwise, I was going to have to let the state and whoever, Red Cross, You know, whoever make those decisions. And 
that's very difficult no matter what the relationship is and especially in uh black people's family because we just don't do that no matter what the circumstances you know and i don't know if that's a blessing or a curse but that's just not something we are accustomed to doing and it's not something that i think we should do now i'm sure there's a lot of y'all out there that disagree with me yeah. And I'm not saying that we can do these things ourselves or like in terms of hands on. But even if it's a, a simple matter, in my opinion, like facilitating a situation with your older parents, you just might have to do it no matter what kind of relationship you had. And I see a lot of people that don't think that that's important, but it's very important. And don't let the mistreatment of your parents the way they treated you make you so bitter that you have bitterness in your heart that you can't forgive anybody and open up and try to do the best you can by them. So that's the kind of challenge that I'm faced with right now. He's in the hospital and um, It's just some things that have to be done and put in place. And there seems to be some stinking thinking going on, you guys. <laughs> so, to make a long story short, uh, I'm, I'm in a little challenging situation. And uh, although I've been inquiring of things on his behalf, I haven't actually seen his face. And when I thought about seeing him, I think my anxiety kicked in a little bit. So, ooh, I said, ooh, I got to deal with this. I got to deal with what I'm feeling. And actually, it's kind of fun to throw yourself in uncomfortable situations to see how you actually handle it. Um, although when you're in the moment, they can feel so uncomfortable. You know, it just sharpens your steel. So I have to get through this challenge because I know that at some point we are going to have to meet face to face, eye to eye, and um, it's been a, it, it has been a long time. So hopefully that'll be a positive response. Hopefully everything will go okay. But I just wanted to share that with y'all because last couple days I haven't really been um there's just been a lot going on in my life but and I want to really do some live streams and I just keep saying that but I really do because I know I can't be the only person going through this so I'm going to give it a shot give it a try again now that I got some new equipment and I'm sure that I can probably pull together a live stream um, talking about a aging parents and do anybody out there got aging parents that either you've been uh, adjudicated to take care of them or or at least facilitate and, and be responsible for their condition? Uh, I don't know. Let me know how, what you're doing, how you dealing with it, and how are you dealing with it? Because I'd really like to know it. I'd take any suggestions. <laughs> any suggestion so with that being said if you like what you hear please like subscribe share and maybe y'all will open up and give me some advice see you in the next video bye bye